Hey guys, what is up? Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. We are here to do another quick video with you guys here today. We've got Chili out, hanging out in the playpen like usual. It is dust bath time, eating some oats, doing her thing. Let her say hi to you real quick here on the camera. Say hi. No, don't get that close. But today we want to cover if you really need that second chinchilla. Do these guys need a cage mate? Are they gonna get bored? Are they gonna get lonely? Whatever the case may be, when you only have one chinchilla, that is what I wanna to touch on today. So stick around and that is coming up next. Guys, I've been mentioning in the last few videos that we have posted here on the channel that we do have a change in publishing. We have gone to Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 a.m. Central for new videos, two a week. So if you want to enjoy this content, if you enjoy this content, make sure that you give us a thumbs up. Give Chili a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for five to 10 minutes to see what we got going on. And the last quick reminder, guys, I have been mentioning this here recently, is that Planet Chinchilla did release an ebook this year. COVID-19 kind of ruined a lot of our plans with announcing it more frequently or even promoting it, I guess you would call it, but it is on planetchinchilla.com. Type in planetchinchilla.com, go to the top menu bar, go to ebooks. It is there for any new chinchilla owner to take advantage of. A lot of the times we are running a 50% off promo. So if you are new to owning a chinchilla, head on over there. Again, that is planetchinchilla.com. You will go to ebooks and you will see everything that that ebook entails. Worth five seconds of your time to check out. But for now, let's go ahead and start diving into this video. All right, guys, I am down here. I am chilling with Chili. It sounded kind of funny saying it like that. Say that three times fast. Chilling with Chili. We are in her playpen. I think she's about done for the day. She seems a little tired. But we are hanging out and we wanted to discuss if you really need that second chinchilla. If it is necessary, that second chinchilla is really gonna make them that happy. And what else you need to know about having one chinchilla versus two. So the first thing I wanna get out of the way in this video is making it 100% clear that you do not have to adopt a second chinchilla. I have had her for five years, no other chinchilla. It's been just us that entire time. She's sitting on my lap right now. And that is perfectly fine. You don't have to have a second one. Is it awesome? Do I want a second one? Yes. Could it help with them having more social activity? Of course. Is there other benefits of having a second chinchilla? You bet. But that doesn't necessarily mean that everybody either has the budget to do that, has the bandwidth to take care of two, or that it's always gonna work out perfectly with bonding. You don't have to do it. It can be super beneficial, but it is not necessary. Chinchillas, if you give them the attention, if you show them affection, if you give them that social interaction, they are just fine being by themselves. Maybe I've been lucky, but I highly doubt that's the case and I've done enough research and talked to other chinchilla owners to know that there are plenty of people that exist that only have one chinchilla and it's never been a problem. That being the case, you have to get it out of your mind that you have to get that second one in order for these guys to be happy. All it really takes is dedicating a little bit of time each day to get them out, to interact with them, to give them some play time, and to just kind of let them exercise. And that is perfect. <laughs> I think she's trying to escape right now, guys. I think she's going down my back. So one caveat to only having one chinchilla is that burden that it's gonna place on you as the owner or your family or whoever's taking care of the chinchilla. If you only have the one, you definitely have to be more routine and disciplined about getting them out of the cage because you're the only social interaction at that point. Without it, they're gonna be just sitting in that cage kind of letting the days go by and having no kind of social life, no kind of exercise, minus whatever the cage is providing. And that's just not a good scenario. 
So if you think that your schedule is too demanding to allow that to happen all the time, and you really want a chinchilla that bad, then maybe the second chinchilla is the best idea for you. If that's perfectly fine, if that's a situation, no worries, plan on getting a second chinchilla. Just make sure that you have a big enough cage and you have to take the time to bond them correctly if you're gonna do that. Otherwise, you're just gonna have two chinchillas that are fighting, which is just as bad as not having the second chinchilla at all. Another thing you gotta keep in mind if you get two of these guys is accessories are part of owning one of these chinchillas they need things it's not expensive by any means but you have dust you have hay you have pellets you have the cage itself you have basically hanging chew toys you have the chinchilla wheel you have there's plenty so you have to be careful based on budget and bandwidth whatever the case may be that you're prepared to take care of two of them they're not going to just share everything freely and get along about it. They do need their own separate items. And that includes even the most basic things like a water bottle and the food bowl itself. Another thing I wanna make sure that people understand about having two chinchillas is the fact that you're gonna to have to leave at some point, go on a vacation, go out for the night, whatever the case may be with travel, there's gonna be things that come up where you might need somebody to check in on your chinchilla because traveling with them usually causes undue stress. So make sure that when you're planning out one, that two isn't gonna to be too much for whoever that trusted person is in your life for them to check in on them. Is two gonna to be too much if you're gone for a week and somebody's taking care of them for them to learn how to interact with them to do what they need to do to take care of them. Two might be too much, so it is important for all of those considerations to be in the back of your mind before adopting two chinchillas. All right guys, so that's about all I have when it comes to needing a second chinchilla to keep the first one happy. If it's necessary, my opinion hopefully is clear that it is not. I have always had one. I want another one, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it. I don't know when I'm going to, if I'm going to. Right now, she's kind of the center of attention. She is my helper on the videos. I don't know what my plan is going forward, but it is absolutely 100% not necessary to have a second chinchilla if you can put in the time, the effort, and have the discipline to get these guys out, give them social interaction, and just take care of them in an ethical manner. One is good to go. Okay guys, hopefully this video has given you some insight on if you need that second chinchilla or not. Hopefully it's helped some of you new chinchilla owners or maybe future chinchilla owners understand kind of what you need to be thinking about before you go to adopt. That is our entire goal on this channel is to help you guys out. With that being the case, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Chili appreciates it. I appreciate it. Leave us some comments down below about what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Subscribe to the channel so that you get to see all the new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 a.m. Central. And be sure to head over to planetchinchilla.com and check out that ebook if you haven't already. And guys, as always, we appreciate you stopping by the channel, each and every one of you. We will see you guys again in the next video. See you next time.